Sometimes we need to translate some text and we use translator. So, in this video I'm going to make comparison between Google Translate and the Yandex Translate. In Google Translate you can translate text and uh, document. In Yandex you can translate text from image, web page, text and uh, document. So, how they work? Yandex.translate, previously Yandex.translation, is a web service provided by Yandex, intended for the translation of text or web pages into another language. The service uses a self-learning statistical machine translation, developed by Yandex. The system constructs the dictionary of single-word translations based on the analysis of millions of translated texts. In order to translate the text, the computer first compares it to a database of words. The computer then compares the text to the base language models, trying to determine the meaning of an expression in the context of the text. In September 2017, Yandex.Translate switched to a hybrid approach incorporating both statistical machine translation and neural machine translation models. The translation page first appeared in 2009, utilizing prompt, and was also built into Yandex browser itself, to assist in translation for websites. This service is also built into the Russian Wikipedia to provide translation services from English to Russian. As of February 2020, translation is available in 95 languages. Limitations Yandex.translate, like other automatic translation tools, has its limitations. When the online service was first introduced, the head of Yandex.translate, Alexei Bade, stated that although machine translation cannot be compared to a literary text, the translations produced by the system can provide a convenient option for understanding the general meaning of the text in a foreign language. Features the mobile app for iOS is available for the transliteration of the Arabic, Armenian, Chinese, Pinyin, Georgian, Greek, Hebrew, Japanese, Korean and Persian languages. Voice input. Photo text translation feature, uses its own OCR, optical character recognition, technology, in apps for mobile phones. The Suggest Translation button, user patches to help improve the quality of machine translations. The Favorites section, where you can add translations of individual words and sentences. Virtual Keyboard Google Translate is a free multilingual machine translation service developed by Google to translate text. It offers a website interface, a mobile app for Android and iOS, and an application programming interface that helps developers build browser extensions and software applications. As of February 2020, Google Translate supports 103 languages at various levels and as of April 2016, claimed over 500 million total users, with more than 100 billion words translated daily. Launched in April 2006 as a statistical machine translation service, it used United Nations and European Parliament transcripts to gather linguistic data. Rather than translating languages directly, it first translates text to English and then pivots to the target language in most of the language combinations it posits in its grid, with a few exceptions including Catalan Spanish. 
during a translation, it looks for patterns in millions of documents to help decide on which words to choose and how to arrange them in the target language. Its accuracy, which has been criticized and ridiculed on several occasions, citation needed, has been measured to vary greatly across languages. In November 2016, Google announced that Google Translate would switch to a neural machine translation engine, Google Neural Machine Translation (GNMT), which translates whole sentences at a time, rather than just piece by piece. It uses this broader context to help it figure out the most relevant translation, which it then rearranges and adjusts to be more like a human speaking with proper grammar. Citation needed, originally only enabled for a few languages in 2016, GNMT is used in all 103 languages in the Google Translate roster as of 2020, except for Belarusian, Burmese, Kyrgyz, Latin, Maltese, and Sundanese.